Today we're going to talk about solving proportional relationships. If you look at this problem, you're going to see that we have two things that are set equal to each other. In this case, we have a fraction 2 fifths is equal to 4 over x. All of these solving proportional relationship problems you're going to come to, they're either going to be set up like something similar to this for you, or it's going to be a word problem which you can set up just like this. So let's look at how we can solve this. Now, we have two fractions equal to each other. The easiest way to deal with this is we want to get rid of those denominators. We don't want any fractions. So I will show you guys a little trick. To get rid of fractions, all we're going to have to do is take each side times the common multiple of these two denominators. So in this case, I'm going to say 5x over 1 times this side and this side. 5x over 1. Now, because I'm doing the same thing to both sides of this equation, remember they are equal, because I'm doing the same thing to both sides, this will be okay. Now, we learned previously when you're multiplying two fractions, when you're multiplying two fractions, you can cross cancel. In this case, a 5 and a 5. All I'm going to have left on this side is 2 times x. 2 times x equals. Look at the other side, again, we have two fractions that we are multiplying. We can cross cancel. This x and this x are going to cancel. All I'm going to have left on the right side is 4 times 5, which is going to be 20. Now, if we're trying to solve for x, we want to get x by itself. We have 2x here. Now, we don't subtract an x. What we can do is that this is x times 2. To get x by itself, we want to do the opposite. So instead of multiply, to get rid of multiplication, we're going to divide. 2x divided by 2 is just going to be x. Okay. Now this is an equation. To keep it balanced, if we do something to one side, we have to do it to the other. 20 divided by 2 is going to be 10. x equals 10. Okay. That is your answer. Now I'm going to show you guys a little trick with what we just did here. If you look at this problem, we had 2 over 5 equals 4 over x. So let's rewrite this. Let's get a fresh piece, piece of paper and see how this trick works. Our initial problem was 2 over 5 equals 4 over x. Now, what we can do, this is a shortcut for what we did on this one, is we can simply take this 5, bring it up here, and take 4 times 5. Take this x, bring it up here, 2 times x. And we're going to get rid of the denominators. In this case, all we have over here is 2 times x equals 4 times 5 is 20. This is just a shortcut of what we did right here, multiplying each side by 5x. All you have to do, remember, is take this up over here, this over here. Again, this is when we have two fractions equal to each other that we can do this. When we're multiplying two fractions, we cross cancel. When two fractions are equal, we can cross multiply. Okay. So let's work through a little bit more complicated example. Here's a word problem. Steve bought a 24-pack of soda for $6. Determine the cost of five cans of soda. Now, in these problems, we're always going to set up fractions dealing with two things. In this case, we have a number of soda cans and cost. So I'm going to put cans and money. So in our first example, what are we trying to find here? We're trying to determine the cost. Cost is what we want to find, so I'm going to put a C in for cost. Oh, let me rewrite this. I have money on the bottom. I'm going to put a C down here for cost. Okay, we want to find the cost of what? The cost of five cans of soda. So we want to find the cost of five cans of pop. Now we're going to set this up as a proportion, which means we're going to set it equal to something. Okay, so let's go back to the problem. We know that. The cost for 24 cans was $6. So 5 cans, we want to find the cost. 24 cans cost $6. Okay. 
Now, again, we're going to apply that little trick that we used before. We take that six up, the C up. This side, six times five, we are going to have 30 equals 24 times C, 24C. Again, we want to get C by itself. We want to find out what the cost is. We have to divide by 24. All we have left over here is C. Over here, we want to divide by 24. So go over here, 30 divided by 24. Does it go into 3? No. Does it go to 30? Once. 2, 4. You have a 6. Remember your decimal. Remember to bring it up here as well. Is 24 going to 60? Yes. How many times? 2. So that would be 48. 60 minus 48, 12. Bring down another 0, 120. How many times is 24 going to 120? 5. Our cost, which, let's scoot this up so you guys can see. There's no remainder there. Our cost for five cans of soda would be $1.25. There you go. That's solving proportional relationships.